Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to create a free account in AWS, launch an EC2 instance in AWS and connect to the instance from SSH. So first of all go to aws.amazon.com and on the right top you will see an option for create a new AWS account. Click on that and provide the basic details such as email address and password verify the password and give a name to your AWS account and continue do this security check okay, let me try it again continue to the step 2 in this step to provide the details such as full name address and mobile number and click on continue in the third step provide the credit card or debit card details so that two rupees will be deducted from your credit or the debit card to validate your account and the two rupees will be credited back within three to five days to your account back provide all your details and click on continue in the fourth step, uh, we need to provide our mobile number and we will get a verification for code to our mobile. So provide that verification code here and click on continue. As the final step, select the plan. So we have developer support and business support as well. For now, I am good with the basic support as it is available for free. Go to the AWS management console. We can see that our account is created and the activation is in progress. Let me click on, click on uh, sign into the console. Give the email address, security check, let me try again, enter the password and click on sign in. So this is our AWS management console, it's still logging in. Okay, from this console, I would be able to launch all the instances or build a solution on EC2. Here we can see that we have an option for launch a virtual mission with EC2 and we can go ahead to services and see all the services that are available on the AWS. So I will go to the compute option and select EC2 from there. I could see that my account is not yet activated. I will wait for some time and I will try it again. Let me go to compute EC2 and I can see an option for launch instance on the bottom. So I'll click on the launch instance and from there I would be able to select my uh, Amazon mission image. I would like to have Ubuntu as my image. So select any image of your choice. In this step two, we will be asked for choosing an instant type. So t2.micro will be available for free tier and it comes with one GB of memory. And also configure the instance with uh, all the required details. So I'll keep everything as is and go to the next step for adding storage. And in the storage also we have 8 GB of memory. I will keep it as is. If you want more memory, you can add it. I will add a tag for my instance. So let it be name and I'll give the name as Hadoop. So in the final step, we need to select the security group. I will select all traffic so that it will be available uh, for testing. Review and launch. So I will review all the options that I have selected until now and launch the instance. So the very important step uh, here is that uh, while we are launching the instance, we need to download the uh, security key file. I mean the private key file. So I will generate a new key pair and I'll give a, give a name to it and download the key pair. This key pair is very important as it is used for accessing the instance from SSH or Putty or any other software. So instance is getting launched. So I'll go and click on the instance name and here we would be able to see our instances let me refresh the page again it's still loading and it, it is showing that my instance state is pending so it should move to running state so meanwhile we can see the details of the instance like we have instance id and public ipv4 address private ipv4 dns and everything these are all the details of my instance and some of the details will be used for accessing the instance from our uh, SSH or terminal or any other software you can see that the instance is now running I'll refresh again and uh, we can see that st status check is initializing 
we go to manage instance from here we would be able to stop reboot or terminate the instance so it's still waiting for status check and all the checks have been passed so now let me show you how to stop the instance select it go to manage and click on stop so once we click on stop it will remove all the data that is present in the instance so now our instance is stopped we can the same way select the instance and start instance instance from here itself so I open my terminal and from the terminal uh, we can uh, first let us move to the uh, folder where I have my Hadoop file so I can run SSH minus I followed by the key file and we need this public IPv4 for accessing that let me copy it and give the username Ubuntu is the username here Ubuntu at the DNS so you can save this command for accessing I'll give yes it's showing that unprotected private key file let me uh, change the permissions of the private key file ch mod 400 i'll give 400 permissions for my private key file and again i will try to run the uh, command for ssh and we should be now able to launch the ssh on that ubuntu server so we are good that we now launched ssh on the server and let me run something on top of it let me start python shell on it so i give python and 3 plus 2 so it's running so the entire thing is now running in our ec2 instance so this is how we set up an ec2 instance using amazon aws so we can go ahead and terminate this instance if we no longer need the instance once we terminate the instance everything on this instance will get deleted and we will not have access to this instance anymore okay that's it hope you like this video if you are interested in more content like this and are learning big data you can subscribe to my channel thank you